So today, folks, we're going to be looking at a distro called the Commodore OS. Not related to the original Commodore, but this is in fact a heavily themed edition of MX Linux. So we're going to take a look at that today and see how it looks. And of course, immediately we are whacked in the face, as it were, with some seriously heavy theming going on here wow this is just no i never owned a commodore so i don't know how this thing how it originally looked but i'm sh don't know if it was like this uh okay can we install this okay i agree okay i keep losing the mouse oh Okay, well, at least install is up uh, automatically, I guess. You know, just wait. Okay, so we'll go next here. We'll use the drive. That's okay. And give it its dues. It's installing quickly. What we'll do as usual, I'll come back once it's moved on to the next step. Okay, now it says pause for required operating puts. So I guess I'll go next. Uh, time zone, no, not Australia, English. United States, American English, time zone, US, Pacific, next. Okay, I see it's now setting system configuration. Stalling grub. Okay, finally we can restart. Okay, and I'll grab the whole Commodore theme going on there. No username to enter, uh, surprisingly. Okay, so I think first thing I'll just fix the resolution. Your current password is set to C, capital C, followed by equal. Capital to C followed by equal authenticate. A new password. Make it something strong and change the password. The password is too short, but the current one is C equal. Irony. Change. Yeah, password's been changed. Okay, my username is Commodore. Okay. So first I want to fix the resolution. So, okay, we are happy with the clock. Thank you. Anything else going to pop up? Me and my big mouth. Keyboard shortcuts. Okay. Okay. How about now? Oh, my aching soul. We have Commodore emulators pre installed. You can add your own games, ROMs, and mods to this as long as you install them in the user share Commodore system directory. Okay, we're not going to do that today, but we're just going to take a general look. So I'm going to go preferences, hardware displays, because this is definitely look, running Mate desktop. 920 by 1080. Let's keep this config and close. Okay. So here we're running Mate. And first thing I want to do is open up the CLI. And uh, this is just not going to win any awards for fastest distro of the year. Yes, I know. I'm running it in a virtual machine. Okay, well, while I wait for the CLI to open. Okay. Uh, give me a fetch. Okay, so we can see here we are running this in, uh, as we can see here, it is running Marte 1.24, Meta City, um, Kernel 6.50, MX Linux. So pretty uh, up-to-date, as it were. 
And this is the uh, severely themed Marte theme. Okay, let's start with accessories here. So we have a text editor, backup software. Okay, using rsync. Uh, calculator files. So ooh, this uh, themed edition of, uh, wow, sorry, of the file manager. Okay, so they've obviously pre-configured this classic software thing. Uh, you know, so you can go and put your, I would assume your emulators and other stuff in these various uh, folders. Okay, let's close that. Okay, so that is, of course, the bar manager, font viewer, note taker, Gnote seems to be more popular these days, gaming uh, services, so you've got uh, your wine tools, which is pretty nice to see pre-installed, Steam gaming service, okay, so pre-launcher for Steam is actually installed, uh, wine tools, play on Linux, because if you want to add some or install some Windows software, uh, you can use it here. Okay, let's close that. Nice. Uh, on the graphics side, of course, a real full house going on here. You've got everything from uh, Scribius, Blender, Amiga, Deluxe, Paint Clown. Okay. Hello. There. Oh, I, th I guess this must have been like the tool that was on the Amiga. Ah, sorry, on the Commodore. Um, of course, feel free to correct me since I didn't have one. Okay, that's uh, definitely something else. Day seven quid. That's just as God. Okay, anything else under graphics? No. GIMP, the usual pretty much stuff here. Oh, what's a simple paint program? What is this? Laz Paint. Amazing how many software packages there are. Okay, internet. Let's look here. We have Chromium. We have the Tor Browser. We have Firefox, we have Torrent Downloader. Ah, Transmission. Let's quit now. Usenet Newsreader. Ah, Mozilla Thunderbird. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, Office. Okay, so we have a PDF Arranger, which is literally PDF Arranger. And we have LibreOffice. Let's see if they've given us any themes. Okay. Uh, not too themed here. It is version 7.042. So I'm just going to close that off. Uh, and of course, they also have the GNU cache. So if you, you know... Need to create a set of accounts. I can just use GNU Cache for that. And, you know, you have a accounts application. So it's classic without saving. Okay, under programming, uh, Gamba, or Gambas, right? Which I I'm not gonna even lie, I'm not even, I'm not very familiar with this, but I'm sure um there are folks that are pretty familiar with this. Um, let's write a name. And uh yeah, it looks a bit like an IDE type thing. Cool, well, it is something different. Visual Studio Code, Text Editor, Mono developed for the small applications, and of course, Icon Browser, DB Browser, Basically Lite, 
Uh, and the sound and video. Oh, there's a lot in here. Uh, we have Amiga Mod Music Player Tracker. Okay. Cool. I guess this is the uh, a media player. I don't think there's any media on here. So I don't think there's anything I can play. Uh, audio and digital audio workstation. That's pretty cool to see that included. Audio hardware manager. Ah. CLI to the Elsa mixer. Uh, C64 music editor. Okay, I would have no idea how to use this. So many things under this category. I mean, there's even MP3 player controller, OBS studio, pulse effects. Uh, VLC webcam, Winamp clone, uh, QNM amp. I haven't seen this in a little bit of a while. Interesting choice. And I say that just because, you know, I haven't seen that in ages. Open. MPT. So if you have any MIDI files, you can open them up and uh, crash the system like I just did. Nice. And let me log back in. Okay. Moving on to system tools, bash config. Right. This, of course, is a tool from MX Linux. MX snapshot system monitor out of interest here. Well, this thing is using uh, 865 megs of memory. Not too bad considering all the eye candy going on here. CPU usage is relatively low. Uh, Silly terminal codex installer if you need to add additional codex. VirtualBox also pre-installed. Okay, Commodore emulator. So Commodore's C64. Oh. Wow, okay. It's a emulator that I don't know how to exit. Nice. Well, I could. No. Yeah. I just did control alt backspace to exit that over there. Uh, more emulators. There's 128. CBM the pet. Um, a, another whole emulator thing going on here. The kickstart config, I take it. Um, I guess you actually need your or need the relevant ROMs for this. Right. Um, Mega emulator. Oh, arcade. Home. Okay, nothing. At least I can exit that. And then, of course, normal emulators. You have the Atari 2600. Uh, Sega Genesis, MAME arcade emulator. Dang, this is nice. Like, it's amazing the amount of emulators on here. Uh... Even main? Huh, I haven't seen main in ages. Even Nintendo DS emulators. Yeah, this is just, there's no ROMs, right? So, you know, without the ROMs, you can't really use these. And I'm not going to tell you where to get the ROMs, but, you know, search engines exist, I suppose. And if I wanted to run anything here, no, nothing. Okay. So this just has so many emulators. I'm not going to even go through all of them. But 
Makes sense. Um, oh, Sega Saturn. Very uh, underrated console. Okay, then places, normal. Uh, going on here, nothing really much to talk about except my tweak. Uh, ad block. Oh, the Antics ad block. Oh, yes, of course. Okay, that's pre installed. And administration, nothing additional there. Control center, just the normal Marte control center. And under Commodore OS, oh, wow, okay. Update Commodore OS, free games installer. Let's look at this. Would you like to know install 54 of the install games? You know, surely it's going to animate wallpaper. Oh, it's your animated wallpaper. No, we don't want to add anything below here. Yeah. This must be crashing the system resources at this point. Uh, automatically sets up the ROMs. What? We open source ROMs are included. Let's say we want to set up the input. Okay, this is just uh, going on a little bit. Let's just get back to the terminal. Okay, so it's still busy installing a bunch of applications here. Uh, I'm just gonna, can I kill it? Uh, stop it, yeah, there we go. We don't want to do that. Um, and then I suppose back to games. Yeah, it's some of the games that's already been installing by itself. Uh, interesting choice. And of course, be careful if you uh, choose something that says uh, free games installer. Yes, it's free games, but uh, <laughs> make sure you don't end up uh, just installing everything. Uh, software catalog. Okay, that looks like the Gnome Software Center. Um, Change the Commodore desktop theme, please. This functionality is currently unavailable. Nice. Again, of course, this is the GNOME Center, so we don't have to go through that. Uh, tips and suggestions. Oh, okay, right, that's a thing from earlier. And of course, install the latest Linux kernel. Okay. So, you have to ask, who is this distro for? Well, if you're a Commodore lover, or you want to relive the old glory days, why not take a look at uh, this uh, severely themed uh, Linux uh, OS? I must admit, though, I'd, I really like the addition of all the emulators they've done. They've taken out a lot of additional work that folks might want. And that's almost really a, you know, MX Linux Debian OS that's ready to game out of the box. You know, if you had the option of this with the, ex, with the uh, I would say, excessive theming or without uh, the theming, it's actually a fantastic OS. A pretty, you know, has everything you need at least. Uh, from the emulation gaming standpoint, but everyone to their own. Folks, if you use this or think you'll use this or know anyone that like it, let me know. Leave your comments in the below. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.